welcome to another episode in our series on getting started with the Python Client Library for the Google Ads API. I'm Ben Carl, and as you know, if you've watched the other videos in this series, I'm a developer relations engineer on the API and the lead maintainer of our Python Client Library. Now, before we get started, let's recap what we've done so far. We created all the credentials necessary to access the API, and we created a basic Python project and installed the Python client library into it. Now it's time to combine these two elements and make a request to the API. All right, let's get started. There are three main ways to configure the Python client library, with a YAML file stored on your machine, with a dict, or with environment variables. For this tutorial, we're going to use a YAML file stored in my machine's home directory. Then we'll use the load from storage method on the Google Ads client class to easily access the configuration settings in that file. First, let's enter our application and get our bearings. So I'm going to change into the application that we created in the last video. I want to check the git log to see, yep, there's the commit we made in the last video. All the files and the virtual environment we made are here. Next step, I'm going to enter the virtual environment. And there we go. And lastly, I'm just going to invoke python -m pip or pip freeze to see that we do actually have all of the necessary dependencies installed. And so for the next step, I'm going to update the Python script to initialize the client instance. So I'm going to go ahead and open that script. And here we are. Since the library will attempt to authenticate at this step, I expect that invoking this script is going to generate an error. So first I'll type in the uh, load from storage method. Okay, like I said, when I run the script, I expect that an error should be returned saying that it cannot find the file that it's looking for. And there you can see at the bottom, there is a file not found error. It could not find a Google Ads YAML file in my home directory. So the easiest way to start a configuration file is to copy the template directly over from the Python client library project in GitHub. First, I'm going to open a file in my home directory called google-ads.yaml. And I've already copied the raw contents from the template file on GitHub. And I'm going to go ahead and just paste it in here. You can see, if we go to the top of the page, that there are several placeholders here. You should insert your developer token, client ID, client secret, and refresh token, which we retrieved in the previous videos. If we scroll down, there's a field for the login customer ID. That's where you should insert the ID for the account that manages the client account we're making requests for. That account is also known as the manager account or MCC. Lastly, the use proto plus field is important and required. It lets you choose between two interfaces for the proto buff message objects we'll be working with when using the Python client library. I won't go into much detail on that in this video, but you can read more in our documentation. I've included a link to that page in the description below for anyone who is curious. For now, I just recommend setting this field to true. Okay, one moment while I insert my own credentials off camera. Now that my configuration is set up, I'm going to go ahead and run this script again and see that it does not end with any errors. And there we go. I see hello world, no errors. We're all set up. And that's that. Our project is now set up to make calls to the API. If you do choose to use another configuration approach, such as with a dict or environment variables, know that the steps 
are very similar as what we just did. And we have documentation that should help clarify the minor differences linked in the description below. See you next time when we'll build out this Python script to use the API to create a new campaign for a client account. See you later.